It's the 9th of August 2024. That's uh, over at the side fence. There's a bathroom in there. It's looking down towards the pool. So there's a bathroom in that wall there, just under there, and we've got a clean out here. This is normally blocked up underneath the bathroom up there. Yeah, that's not looking real good up there. I don't think I'll push... You can see the broken pipe there, but I don't think I'll push my camera up there. Uh, so we'll have to clean up there. So this drain was cleared about five and a half months ago. Um, that's the regrowth in five and a half months. Up there. Okay, I'll have to clean that before I put the camera up there. We'll go the other way, we'll go down the bottom here towards the pool, down the back. There's a little bit of there, it's regrowth there. Yeah, so, come around here, this is blocked. Yeah. Yeah. Blocked just there, some of that paper. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so we'll come back. More regrowth there. Yeah, lots of regrowth there. Yeah, these fast growing tree roots. Let's let that water run away. Yeah, so it's where the plastic and the earthenware join just there. It's blocking up there. Okay. Yeah, we come back here. Yeah, normally more regrowth there with a at the back, it's broken at the back of the junction there. You can see on previous videos there's roots coming, so the roots haven't grown back there. And, uh, normally some roots there, but there's not there today. Okay, so we've got some more regrowth there. It's not blocking the drain there. It's not more growth there, but it's not blocking the drain. There's more there, again, not blocking the drain. Down here, yeah, it's blocked up down here, so that's further down in the garden area. Yeah, it's all blocked up there. I'll see if I can push the camera through it. Whoop, there she goes, big blob of toilet paper there. That would have been stuck on these roots. They're pretty bad. But again, that's only just under six months for those to grow back like that. Crazy. Okay. Go down all the way to the end. Uh, a few little wispy ones there. Yeah, there's some, some some coming through there, sort of bottom bottom left hand corner, you can see there. And some there. I need to get that Give that lens clear. Hang on. plastic down near the pool, and then it goes down the shaft, just there. And there's normally roots just at the bottom there. I can't see it's running water. Yeah, I think I can see them. Hang on. Let's just get rid of that water. No, I can't see 
because they're running like that. Yeah, it's normally roots just at the top of the screen there, but we'll have to check it anyway. We're going to get about 17 metres there, 17, 18 metres. Yeah. Say 18 metres. We don't need to do any clearing with penetrators here today. We can get the camera through, well, yeah, we can get the camera through everything, so just going to use a root cutter. More roots back up there, so I'll just push that by hand up in this plastic up there. So Just a little bit. 
Okay, so here we go. Okay, so you got tree roots coming through there. Again, they were all gone five and a half months ago, so that's only five and a half months worth of growth. It's crazy. Anyway, so we'll we'll clean that out of there all the way back. And I'm too close. There's not enough room in there to lose the camera. So I'll pull that back and there's more roots just there. See the roots? The roots have cut out. Okay, so I still got to get rid of those, but I want to get further up. There we go, look at that. That's clean as a whistle now. Okay, so we've got to bring that root cutter back. And then the root's just there. Yeah, the root's just there, right? So, there they are. There go, pull that back. To about right there. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go down the other way, down here. Okay, I'm going to get that out, those ones out with the lance. I might, uh, I might just go and get the lance now, and we'll just get that done. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to get the lance, pull that out of there.
Alright, so I've just got this lance. I'm just going to get rid of those. Back on with the root cutter. And then go straight down. Okay, so what we do here is we get all the way down to 18 metres and then we do the root cutting on the way back.
right direction. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that. Those roots there. Okay, we turn into the left. Last time I was here, it actually flipped up to the right, up that slope junction. That was not good. That's what it looks like when you put a camera down a block drain. You can see all that floating debris, tree roots, grease, pulverised toilet paper. Oh, there it goes. So you, you can't really put a camera down a block drain. Uh, not if you want to see anything anyway. So now I'll push that down. There we go. coming through there, so there's 17, yeah that's right, we only needed to go to there, because the rest of that down there is clear. So if we bring the water jet back to, to that one, even though it's only a couple of tiny little roots, Cut is right on the joint. Pull that 
back to those ones. clean, pull the root cutter back to where the roots are, pull the camera back because you can't have the camera near the root cutter, clean, so when you're cleaning with the root cutter you're doing it blind, you can't actually see what you're doing, so that's why positioning that root cutter exactly where it needs to be is crucial to getting the roots out in the shortest possible time. Then we put the camera back down as we have, we always leave the root cutter just a little bit past just let it go down about 300 mils past where we were cleaning and that means that we know that the joint up from that cam from that root cutter there the, that one joint up that's the one that we've been cleaning you can see the roots in it anyway but sometimes you can't so you need to do that in order to identify okay so coming around that bend and as you come back yeah, okay so we've got roots there at that one I think the have a look at that. They're not loose roots. No. Okay. So we'll pull that back. To the, oh, hang on, maybe they're loose. Oop, I think they're loose. Let's have a look at that joint. Hang on. Oh, yeah, there's a few there. And they've got a big blob of roots on the end of loose roots there, so I've just got to go a bit forward from that. roots in the pot. See I'm pulling them back. Yeah, so they're loose. They'll flush down. That's all good. That's all good. Whoa. Okay, up the junction. Got to get these ones here. Okay. I'll pull that root cover back so we can see it. Right there, have a look. 
give that a tickle up. And then we got some roots just there. Okay. important for people to understand that when you're using high pressure root cutters all you're doing is giving the roots a haircut you're cutting the roots back to the to, in, well, to the joint that's a displaced joint there the root cutter hasn't got enough angle on the water jet to get those roots further back inside that joint on the left um, but you can see they're level with the pipe the earthenware pipe but not with the plastic because the, pla the, the joint's displaced so um, that, that's the best you can get. Um, but it, it, cutting roots inside of drains, like mowing a lawn or trimming a hedge, once you've cut it, cut the roots, they start growing back immediately. So it just depends on the species of tree and how fast the roots are growing as to how long it'll take before the roots grow back and block the drain again. Some people it's it's six months, some people it's 12, some people it's 18, some people it's two years. It, Every, every every job's different. Um, and some people have random blockages. They, they block up in six months, and then they block up in 12 months, and then they're back to six months, and then they might go to 18 months. Uh, so who's living in the house and what they're flushing down the drain also has a bearing on how long the drain's going to stay clear for. Okay, so I've got some roots there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just there, right? So I need to pull that root cutter back there. Just maybe just about there. Anyway, I'll pull the camera right out for this right near the standing. And I'll put this cap over it because we're gonna get a spray. We're gonna get a spray. Got 
more water on the camera, so I'm just cleaning the camera. Keep it dry. Okay, so if I remember what that looked like before. In the beginning. This is what it looks like now. We won't go all the way to the end, because there's that broken pipe. We're just going to go down to 18 metres. Oh, there we go. I'll go to that joint there. So everywhere, everything from there down to 27 metres, that's, there's no roots down there. We've already seen that at the beginning. So we don't need to waste any time doing that. Okay. You might hear me huffing and puffing. I was going to do this job yesterday afternoon, um, uh, but I went and cleared a block stormwater drain in Cherrybrook, and uh, that took me about f nearly five hours, about four and a half to five hours, and they had diabolical tree roots from hell and uh, I just ran out of time so I'm doing this one this morning and after that job yesterday I felt like I've been run over by a steamroller or two steamrollers and then I needed a forklift to get me out of bed this morning so this sort of work with high pressure water jets and pushing cameras and cameras and water jets up and down drains is one of the most physically demanding things anyone on the planet can do. That's why you hear me huffing and puffing because I've got a sore back, sore legs, sore arms and sore shoulders. Okay, so we're finished there. I'll put that one back on. Yep. And now I'm just going to move the equipment down to near the pool and we're going to check that uh, section of drain from the main shaft down to the Sydney Water Main. So I'm going to turn this off now and we'll see you soon. Okay, so we're down near the swimming pool down here. This is down, we were up the back of the house there on the left hand side of the screen behind that tree, just over there, uh, right up the side of the house. So we've cleaned all the way down to a uh, just over, just over there, there's a, um, a, a clean out, a shaft, main shaft. So, there's usually roots at the bottom of that. So I'm just going to... Um, just going to take the lid off it. Normally, just down here, that pipe there, like the that pipe there, you can see that one there. That's coming from a gully. It is just there. That's a gully. And the pool backwash. See that white pipe that goes into that gully. 
and when the pullback washes it comes into the sewer just there. And it goes down the shaft, but below that you've got another inlet which is just there. Just there. So when we came we came down from the top from the house, that's where we came down. We came, the camera came down there and then we pushed it down and changed this to earthenware there from plastic. And there's a bend at the bottom. And there you go. There's always roots down here too. So if we don't check this one down here, well this will cause a problem. So everything needs to be cleaned thoroughly and we need to get rid of those roots. Look at that. That's only five and a half months. They're already, already to the bottom of the pipe. Now this is only a short six inch line. It just goes down here a little bit, a couple of pipes. There's the, the customers responsible to that joint there. You can see that joint right there, that one there. So the customer's line finishes there at that joint at the bottom of the screen. And then when we go into this junction arm, that's Sydney Water's responsibility. And then when we go into Sydney Water, they've got roots in there. Yeah, you've got roots there in their main. I think they've got some more roots further down here. So you've got the roots down there. So that's in Sydney Water, Sydney Water's line, and uh, that's their responsibility. So we're not cleaning this section of the drain today. We're only looking at it. And then back up here, you see roots there, but that, they're coming in on the junction to the main. Just there, you can see them there. So that's inside the main. Yeah, I may, I may run down and just lop them off because if, if they cause a blockage in the main it will block up the customs line and then um, then he'll call me and he'll say my train's blocked again but it won't be there, it'll be here because we've cleaned this one today OK, so we've got to get rid of these ones All them, look at that OK Again, we're going to use the root cutter, hydraulic root cutter, down here. Gone, I've gone the wrong way up the main, right? So I'm going to pull that back. It's easy to do in a six inch pipe. Oh, there we go. So, what I might do is just spin that over. There we go, spin it over. Now the camera head's on the wrong side of the cable. <laughs> Spit it over that and because the camera the camera cable's on the left side of the hose, so I need that there. Then I can push with the camera and push it into the main and push it.
is all the way down there. So we're actually down past that second lot. So all the way, that's all the way down the main. See that? And then what we'll do is we'll get rid of that lot down there too for him. Just because I'm a nice bloke. Let's pull it up into there. I don't really need to clean them out, so that, that will do. And then uh, these ones here, looks like they are. So we'll just pull that. Pull that back. down there and this job is now finished. Okay. That's the end of the job and I'm going home. So have a nice day.